What's up, everybody? It's Derek Lambert here with Derek Lambert Recovery. And it's Kurt Lambert. That's right, that's right. So we're going to get right into the topic here in just a second. Heroin withdrawal, what going cold turkey feels like. Now, before we get into that, because it's, an, it's extremely important, many people wonder, what does it feel like to go cold turkey off of heroin? First off, I want to go ahead and, and, and plug, like us on Facebook, share, subscribe this video. Um, I think it's extremely, extremely important that you guys get this information out. It might save someone else's life. It might steer them away from going this path. Um, I want to shout out to another YouTuber, Hopeless to, to Hopeful is his YouTube channel, Hopeless to Hopeful. He started back, he's back in the game, and he's pushing his videos. Show him some love. I'll put his um, link in the description. Discord. Guys, we want to be able to have a community where at all times, every day, at any hour, you can communicate with other addicts that are in this group or in this following. It's going to be in Discord, and it's the app Discord. Download it on your phone. Have it on your computer. It'll be down in the description to the link to our our group so that we can be in communication. You are not alone. You are not alone in this at all. No. And there's a community out there, and it's something special about it. It saves lives. And uh, it can help. Yes. So tune in, guys, and listen, man. It might save your own life, if not a loved one who's struggling with addiction. True. Um, it's life and death for people like us. Uh, like to call us extremists. So let's get into it, man. Straight into it. Heroin feels fantastic when you do it. Okay, let's go ahead and be honest. And that's another topic for another video on how amazing it makes you feel and why we would continue to pursue that dragon. Now, when we get into the topic of what it feels like to withdraw off of heroin, that's a different animal. Okay, you go way up here to below the low when you get off of heroin. Okay, so heroin when it leaves the body and it begins to leave after you've been on it bro yeah. you just recently have had this experience yeah tell them what you experienced um man i wanted to die uh and especially i guess what it did to me the negativity and everything that was negative going on with me in my life uh it was tenfold and it was so easy to dwell and focus on that and I have a hard time all I can think about is obsessively thinking about how I feel and how bad I feel and it was all I could think about you know the restless the irritableness the discontent the no sleep uh, go, go into that because I think it's important they understand the pain. Like, what um, you, what happens okay. physically to you that makes you... It was you... weird, man. I would have moments, dude, I was shaking. I couldn't sit still, twitching. Uh, I couldn't sleep. I would... And if I... I would toss. I would be tossing and turning, kicking with that restless leg so bad that where it literally seemed like I was fully awake, tossing and turning, hadn't slept in six days, but maybe an hour, and all of a sudden I come to and I wake up. And it was maybe an hour sleep, sometimes at first 25, 10 minutes. And every time when I woke up, it was like I got my ass kicked. Like I've been hit by a car. Uh, <laughs> literally. So so did you get hot flashes? Like oh, sweat and then, you, and then you're too my, hot and you're too my cold. My hands and, and my feet were cold. I was freezing but sweating. I felt like little needles, bro, poking my body. I could feel my body wanting to sweat yeah. at times and it wouldn't. And I, it felt like little needles poking me everywhere at night my hands and my feet were clammy i promise you i was so bad my hands swelled up at night and my feet and they only would sweat out of my hands and my feet bro yeah it was so intense and literally it sucked because i was incarcerated and you don't like being told you know could, i always say this no one can talk enough or shut the hell up enough to please you i was so miserable. There's nothing at all nothing. that you enjoy. Nothing. There, nothing. So you are going to be miserable. It is going to be severe suffering. Uh, it's probably going to be the worst experience you've ever had. I'd rather have my wisdom teeth pulled out three times in a row than having to go through a serious hardcore <laughs> heroin withdrawal. Literally. That is. Literally. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. I had to be put to sleep to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. So, <laughs> look, um, my experience when I got off of it was similar. Like, you start getting clammy. You start feeling like, oh, my armpits are sweating on their own. I'm not happy. I'm not feeling good. Um, long story short, I had a fever that started kicking in. 
I had a big headache. I was taking a bath because of the because I was cold. I'd get in the bathtub to warm up, but then even the hot tub was cold. So you're like, ah, oh, well, you get out of the tub because now you're getting cold. I, I was crawling to the I, bed. I get, oh. get in the tub, and the first time that I'd get in it, and I'd be in it for five minutes, and then I was over it. So I'd get out. And the second I laid in the bed, I jumped right back up. Had to get back in that tub. And I got sick and tired of the tub. I've laid on the bathroom yeah. floor. I've put two little chairs together and laid in a ball on the chairs. Literally. I put my face by the toilet because the tile was cool and I would hot. And the sound of running water helped. And then it yeah. sucked. And then it didn't do nothing. <laughs> and, oh, man, I just... It's difficult to put in words. I felt like spiders were crawling yes. under my skin. Your skin tightened. You just feel, like, twitchy. You're like, Ugh. My skin tightened. Ugh. And I would get goosebumps, but my hair... It would be so intense goosebumps, my hair turned into a puffball. That the hair stood up on my hair. So... Oh, yeah. It, it was so intense that it was a puffball, man. The hairs on my head went... Like a cat, when you see a cat about to fight, that's what my hair did on my head. Ah, uh, see, I didn't get the, I didn't get the, um, what everybody talks about where they had to use the restroom like nonstop. I didn't get that. I probably got that later and didn't realize it, but I, I didn't get that. I did, um, however, you didn't get diarrhea. No, I didn't. I didn't. And you were constipated. I got nauseous a little, but I didn't get diarrhea. I, I was constipated. That's yeah. the difference. So a lot of people get like diarrhea. I was completely constipated. The first like week or two, it was like I was eating because I haven't ate. I was like 148 pounds. I'm probably like 176, 78 right now. But I would eat, eat, and my stomach would be like it swelled up. And then finally, I'd use the bathroom, and it was it was bad. And I could tell. I didn't even want to drink water, and I try to force myself to. My my pee almost looked brown. Uh, <laughs> it's probably like close to death. Dehydrated liver. I mean, I can't imagine with everything that you were doing. So to give you the gist, you're most likely, obviously, no matter what, going to get the hot and the cold. You're going to have hot flashes. You're going to get cold. That's a guarantee. The next level you're going to have is probably feeling nauseous, um, irritable, like you can't get comfortable, and that's going to be for a while. Sleeplessness. You're going to have a lot of no sleep. Go ahead and bank on that. So anything, natural remedies probably would help a lot with that yes. trying to help let you me, sleep. Let me explain this because this was for real to me. When I was withdrawing, when they would give me something like if I tried to take a Seroquel as I withdrawed, it made me kick tenfold. Because now I can't sleep and I'm drowsy. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, ugh, drowsy, wanting to sleep, but I'm kicking. And it was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And that's when I would do the kicking so hard till all of a sudden I come to. And I wake up, man, and I'm just, it's, ah, man, it's like. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, dude, nothing is enjoyable nothing, while you're doing uh, that. So It's going to suck regardless for those who are going through it. Yes. You can look on some other videos that my brother has had and you could see us documenting days of it and it's no fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, if... I could have recorded the worst day. You oh, guys would. Man. I don't think I'd even want to post something like no, that. No, that's how bad it, it is. That bad. You get to a place where hopefully no one's around because you can act as weird and do as weird of the shit to get you through. Yeah, a bunch you're of naked I mean, faces you're, in the mirror. If you gotta sit there and just do <laughs> like this, growling, and it's funny. It's but funny, it's but it's not. Not. Yeah. It's. Oh man. Well, look, look, check this out. Me and Kurt. We, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of hint. There's a lot of medical stuff that's going on. That is a sign, though, that your body's trying to get back to normal. There's yeah. something missing, and then now your body's fighting to come back to normal. It gradually does go away. It's not always as intense as the acute withdrawal. It does get better, and then eventually it does go away. So check it out. If you like what me and Kurt are doing here, this is my little bro, and uh, he recently had to detox cold turkey mm -hmm. in jail and off of a ton of stuff, uh, heroin, mm -hmm. Opiates, cocaine, cocaine methadone, Benzos, Suboxone. Yeah. He was taking a variety I, of I things. I withdrawed from methadone when I got incarcerated a couple months ago. But then I got out. lasted about a month, maybe. Got back on heroin. Uh, 
then was taking Suboxone probably that last week before I went to jail, but I was taking a lot of Suboxone. And what I did is I threw myself into precipitated withdrawals. That's for another video though, guys. Yeah. That is something, ugh. That's instant, instant, instant pain, uh, instant withdrawal. But and you don't um, want to do that. You'd rather gradual, trust I'll tell me. you, yeah, the Suboxone, it did not help at all. And I don't know, some people say their heroin withdrawals last like a week and they're over it. Man, for me, dude, it's a good month, guys. Yeah. And that's the God's honest truth. It took a good month. Good month, honestly, for me to uh, yeah. stop getting the chills. Now, after the month, it still was the mental and the obsession. But uh, I would have moments of, like, uh, almost romancing it, you know, talking about my war stories and shit, it made right? made you feel better. It made you feel for a second. Talk to somebody. It does help. I will say, even in all of that, well, at first, the cute withdrawal, you don't want to hear or say anything. <laughs> no. You're like, eh, eh. Yeah, it's that bad. But after that, talk. You need a support group. So, period. Look, Discord is going to be that. We're, we're making a support group for you guys and gals. Discord, the link's going to be down in the description. Be sure to check it out at any time, 24-7. If you're hurting, there should be someone there. We're trying to build this thing so you can talk to someone. Yeah, man. Like us on Facebook. Check us out. I've got a Patreon. I'm trying to get this website. It's about to be released. Guys, we've we, got a lot we here we're trying to, to do. put something out there that isn't out there enough man this stuff is an epidemic it's killing everybody it's gonna kill me if you i don't get in a de i do guys i don't have much time under my belt and i still go through stuff and that's for me to make another video guys i'm gonna make my own channel uh it's gonna help keep me sober keep me held accountable and also reaching out to others because me helping others and seeing others suck lets me know i'm not alone and i'm not the only one who sucks at living you know what i mean but i hear it gets better and i'll tell you what it's getting better it and is. it's getting better we went to a meeting I'm, yesterday I'm, too yeah. I mean, look. I let's... ran for the first time and exercised a mile. It didn't stop. It kicked my butt, dude. You know, just yeah. trying to change things. So we're gonna get his channel going soon, and that will be in these descriptions. I'm gonna put them in all of mine. Me and Kurt, we're gonna be the Logan Paul and Jake yeah. Paul of recovery. We're That's the goal. So spread the word, and uh, I love everybody out there. Keep the videos coming. Plug your stuff, your stuff in our videos, man. I want everybody to to feel like they have access to another channel if they can't get a hold of us. Yeah, man. This is a love thing, man. We want to save a lot of people. So, yeah. thank right. you so much, and yeah, um, be on the lookout for Kurt. Yeah, man. God is good, guys. Love. Later, y'all. Later. <laughs>